good looking. You are going to love this sweaty boxing workout that anybody can do. No coordination required. Now listen, there are no tools for this workout. However, we are doing some push-ups at the very end of this workout. So if push-ups bother your wrists or your shoulders, or if you just hate them, <laughs> I'd love for you to grab a pair of moderate dumbbells and I'll show you an alternative to do. All right, awesome. Lace up your runners, let's go get busy. Hello there and welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and hey, I help women over the age of 40 reclaim the tush of their 20s. So if that's you, if you're over 40, click subscribe. Let's keep the workout love train going. All right, we're getting warmed up and then we'll move right into the workout. As we warm up, I will chat about what we're about to do. Let's start by warming up the shoulders. Deal? Feet apart, abs engaged, big arm circles going backwards. So we have seven different movements we're starting out with. Four rounds, 30 seconds on the clock. Now there is a lot of jumping in this workout. So in my um, modified window, just up in this area somewhere, you're going to see the low impact version of the exercise. So you choose what's going to work for you. And then we finish this off with a Tabata working into the chest and core. So like I mentioned, if push-ups bother you, you're going to want a pair of dumbbells close by. Last three, two, one. All right. Now bring the elbows in. Hands are up. Perfect. Now twist through the waist. Beautiful. Knees stay pointed towards me and they are bent. Good. Just warming up into the core here. So whenever we punch, we we'll always keep those elbows in close to the rib cage to protect the rib cage and the hands up to protect the chin. Last three, two, one. Now sink it down and jab it. When we jab, we aren't overextending the elbow. Our knuckles are even with the ceiling. Our thumbs are over top of the knuckles and we jab out. Good. So there's not a lot of coordination needed for this workout, mainly because I'm not an extremely coordinated person myself. <laughs> so really, I just didn't want to look like an idiot on YouTube. <laughs> so if that's you, you're gonna love this workout. <laughs> Here we go, last four, three, two, one. Now sink it down into a deeper squat and give me an uppercut. So now we're coming up. So pretend that your opponent's chin is right up there and you're doing an uppercut and the other arm stays in. Now I like to move my feet a little bit. I have no idea if that's what I would do in a real fight situation, but it just feels good when I'm doing this. Here we go. Last four, three, two, one. Perfect. Now keep those feet apart and let's squat, heel lift. Beautiful. So we'll keep it a little um, tame on our first round as we sort of continue on our warm up, which we're gonna start in less than a minute. And then I'll be ramping up the intensity with every round. Again, it's up to you how you're feeling today, whether you join me on that ramping up or stick with the low impact and slow it down a bit. Last three, two, one, all right, here we go. Alternating hip extension. And if that feels okay and you want to take it into a lunge, you can't, bending that back knee. Keep those arms moving though. Perfect, front knee lines up with the ankle. One more each leg. Last one. And release. All right, if you need a sip of water, you got 10 seconds to do that. Otherwise, we're moving right into jumping jacks in three, two, one, go. Perfect. Keep going, okay? I need to turn up the timer on my, um, turn up the sound, sorry, on my timer. There we go. Now, land soft. If you're doing the jump portion with me, arms are just going to shoulder height. Perfect. Low impact version, take a look. Time, all right. Sink down into a squat, okay? The lower you go, the harder you work from this position. We have two of those uppercuts we learned and then two of those jabs we learned. Go, upper, upper, jab, jab. Elbows come back in, okay? Jab, jab. Jab, jab, good. Now remember on the jabs, we're not flinging the arm out there, okay? <sighs> 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 
Less than 10 seconds. Time. All right, we have a lunge and a jab, okay? And you bend that back knee for as low, as low as it feels comfortable for you. Let's give it a try. Give me a lunge, jab, good. Other side, jab, good. So I'm gonna face you now. Excellent. And then pick it up if you can. I mean the speed. <laughs> and again, if you're not comfortable doing a deep lunge, don't do a deep lunge. Now we will be doing jump lunges in our second round of this one. So again, we're just kind of warming up still in this first round. Last three, two, one more, one. All right, here we go. Elbows in, hands up to chin. And we do a bit of a twist, bringing the knee up. So this is a little core while we do the repeater knee. Ready? Good, breathe. Breathe, excellent. Now, stabilizing leg is soft, good. Bringing that knee up, rib to hip here. Less than 10 seconds. Keep those arms up. Time, all right. So I'm jumping out, you can step out. We go up and then two upper and in, okay? You ready? Arms up, go, jump out. Knees track with toes, in. Now again, we're taking it a little slower on this first round. We will ramp up that speed as we go. Don't worry, we'll do the other repeater knee. <laughs> I didn't forget about the other leg that you have on the next one, okay? Love it. Knees track with toes, time, good. All right, so other legs for the repeater. Arms are up, remember, as we bring that knee in, we do a little bit of a twist, get into those obliques, go. Breathe, good. Now that leg that stays on the ground, you want it bent, okay? Perfect. Getting that speed, picking that up a little bit. Body's feeling it. Yes. Time, all right. Last exercise of the series. It's a cross, heel up, cross, okay? Ready, go, cross, hop, cross, whoop. <laughs> there we go. So I'm lifting up off the heels as my arms come up above. On the next round, I'll be adding a jump here if you want to join me. So those are our moves. All right, round one's almost done. Jumping jacks, round two coming up in less than 10 seconds. So bend the knees when you do that cross, get into a bit of a squat. Time, march it out. So 10 second break, you march, grab water, just keep the feet moving. All right, jumping jacks, lower high impact, go. Now, round two, can we pick up the intensity a bit? Can we pick up the speed a bit? Can you dig deeper and let's get this done? Yes. Woo. I was almost yelling there, wasn't I? Come on. Uppercut jabs coming up in 10 seconds. Whew. Let's pick this up, come on. We wanna to sweat today, I want you to sweat. I want you to feel amazing when we're done. Time, all right. Sink low, stay low. You got two upper, two jabs, keeping the squat. Ready, set, go. Hup, hup. Now, punch like you mean it, okay? Remember on the uppercut, it's somebody's chin, just about right up there. Lunge and jab is coming up. I'm gonna add a jump lunge if you wanna join me. It'll be fun, why not? What do you got to lose? Other than your knee? <laughs> Time! All right, take a look. So I jab, land. Okay, ready, set, go. So I'm gonna jump it. Good. 
get into that lunge position and then whatever leg is behind, that's the arm that's coming out for the jab. But if it's the other arm, if you're doing the other arm, it's your workout. You do you. Woo. Less than 10 seconds. Power repeater knee coming up. Time. March it. All right. You got the power repeater knee. You remember that one? Okay. I'm going to add a bit of a jump if you want to join me. Jump is optional. Arms up. Give me a bit of a twist like we did in warm up. Oh boy. Do you feel that front leg now? Yeah, baby. Come on. Sumo jump out. Coming up. In three, two, one. March it out. So remember what leg you were just on. You'll do the other one after these sumo jump outs. All right, you can step or jump out. Up to you. Ready? Go. In. Breathe. Good. A little exhale, exhale. Excellent. Knees track with toes. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Woo. Other repeater knee coming up in five seconds. Come on. Time. Woo. All right. Yeah, my heart rate's getting up there. How you doing? How you doing? Good looking. Ready? Repeater knee. Add that hop if you want. Breathe. Yes. It's front leg. It's bent, yeah? Good job. Time. Last one of the series before we go into round three. Step moving. Then I'm going to add a jump in between, okay? Moving cross to jump. Ready? Go. Now, when we do that cross, you're going to bend the knee and pivot, okay, that foot. You want to make sure when you're doing jumps and punches, you're pivoting on that leg so that knee is pivoting. It's not staying in one place while your body's going in another direction. March it out. Okay. We're halfway. Jumping jacks. Yeah, I gotta fix my mat. It was crooked. Go. We're gonna turbo charge it. Come on. Let's go. Lower high impact. You're with me. You push play. You got your runners on. Now let's finish strong. Come on. Yeah. You're gonna bring the fire today, baby. I love it. Come on. Less than 10 seconds. Uppercut jabs coming up. Three, two, one. March it out. Woo. Keep those feet moving. Yes. Come on, give me a hell yeah. Excellent. All right, we're sinking down in that squat. Knees track with toes. Drop the bum. Upper, upper jab. Now, we are picking the speed up. So that is optional. You find your intensity. That's the great thing about working out at home. You don't have to try and keep up with the 25 year old beside you. <laughs> when all you really want to do is just trip her. <laughs> or at least hold on to her ponytail so she can't jump so high. <laughs> Time. All right, repeat her knee. Trust me, I know, because I've been there. I want to pull her ponytail too. Ready, go. <laughs> Add the jump if you want. Knees in, bit of a twist. Get those obliques, come on. Up. Hands up, yes, good. Elbows in, hands up, knee comes up. Go, come on, kick it back. Come on, lower high impact. I want your heart rate going like a hummingbird right now, fast. I want your breathing, fast. 
Last three, two, one. March it out. All right, before we do the other side, remember, sumo jump out, two uppers. Woo. We start with feet together. I know, this is fun, right? Good. Hunt. Land soft and wide. Take a look. Are the knees tracking with the toes? Perfect. Bum going rearward a bit. Upper body upright. Good job, you. Less than 10 seconds. Come on. Sink it a little deeper. Can you do it? Of course you can. Come on. Time. Okay. Repeater knee, other leg. Woo! My heart rate's getting up there some more. Love it. Ready, set, go. Woo! That front leg, man. It should be burning right now. Come on. Push through it. Or march it out. <laughs> Just keep moving. Time. Last move. Moving. Jump cross. I talk a tough talk, but I want you to find your intensity for you, okay? I will always give you variations though. You will never catch me saying, if you can't do this move, just march it out. I think that's an effing cop out by too many YouTube instructors. So what? Maybe you can't do a push up because of a bad shoulder. That sure as heck doesn't mean you sit it out. It means we just train you a different way. All right, so stick with me. Time. Okay, this is it. Woo. Energy is ramped now. This is our last round. Jumping jacks, go. I would never go into a group of people, do a move, and say, if you can't do it, just march it out. No, I would show them a different way of doing it. And that's how I teach here on YouTube. Because just because you're injured, older, something hurts, something doesn't move quite right, osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, it doesn't mean you can't train fierce time. Woo. Because I'm here to tell you, you can. All right, uppercut, two jabs. Sink it low, let's go. Up. Come on. I got you for this workout. I want to squeeze every last ounce out of you so that you walk out of this workout dripping with sweat with the biggest smile on your face because you did it. That's where I want you. Jump, lunge, and jab coming up in 10 seconds. Come on. Time, march it out. So whatever leg is behind, that's your jab arm. You can jump it or step it back. Ready? Go. I'm gonna face you. So I get set up in my lunge and then I do my jab. That's what I call pacing myself. So if you need to do the same, join me. Because 30 seconds of jump lunges is no joke. <laughs> Time, no more of those. Okay, repeater knee. So you pick a knee, we add that twist, we keep the arms up. Add the jump if you want, go. <laughs> Less than 10 seconds, come on, let's go, let's go. Whew, ramp it up. In three, two, one, march it out. Oh, that seriously burns that front leg. I love it. All right, sumo jump out, two uppercuts. You with me on that? Of course you are, go.
No, no music on my end, but hopefully you got your favorite tunes cranked. If you're new to the channel, I don't use music. Everybody is unique on what their tastes are. So I let you play yours on your end. Time, oh my goodness. All right, either repeat or knee. Yeah, ready, set, go. Okay, last 10 seconds, pick it up, go, go, go. Three, two, one, march it out. Yes. Last move. Woo. Moving cross jab and jump or heel lift. Go. Remember, when we do the cross, we pivot. Okay? Same arm that's coming across, that leg pivots. So come off the heel. Oh. Oh, thank goodness we're only doing four rounds, huh? Okay, last 10 seconds, here we go. Time, oh my goodness. I am so proud of you. It's saying that we have another move. I don't know what I missed. Oh, so you know what? We're just gonna call it a day. Keep marching it out. Grab some water while you keep those feet moving. We need to get the heart rates down a bit and then we head down on the mats for a chest, tricep, and core Tabata. Okay, we're still marching. As I said, grab some water. I'm gonna grab some. Whew. I know I missed an exercise in that final round. <laughs> You can let me know below <laughs> what exercise I missed. And was it in the final round? Or was it in the first, second, or third round? Who knows? I know, right? I got one job, lead you through a workout, and I screw that up. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you have a sense of humor. So, as I said, we're gonna let the heart rates come down a bit because we are down on the mat. We're starting with a push-up or chest press with dumbbells, which I'll have up in the corner. So if push-ups aren't your jam, I want you to grab a pair of moderate dumbbells and then your elbows will be in and punch straight up, okay? I'll put a little bit more emphasis on the triceps, which is what we'll be doing with this certain push-up we'll be working on. Then we flip over for bicycle crunches. For those of you with osteoporosis or osteopenia, I'll be doing a dead bug, love that name, in the corner of the modified window because because spinal flexion is not your friend if you have osteoporosis. Deal? Deal. All right. So we're just gonna tap out. Best case scenario, we get your heart rates down 100 or less, okay, before we lie down on the mat. So if you do have a heart rate monitor on, and I highly recommend one, and you find that you're running really high, like way past 110, I want you to push pause, okay? March it out, walk around the house a bit, and let the heart rates come down. But yeah, even 110 I'm okay with, because we are going to be ramping the heart rates up again when we're down there. So, Tabata, eight rounds alternating between a diamond push-up or a narrow chest press followed suit with a bicycle crunch or a dead bug. Yes. You ready for this? Of course you are. So a diamond push-up means we place our hands like this. This is fitness with PJ, manual zoom in. <laughs> I know, we're super high tech here, aren't we? All right. <laughs> we have eight rounds alternating between the two moves. You ready, set? Awesome. Those of you with the dumbbells, you're on your backs, knees bent, feet on the ground, elbows in tight to the body. Round one, go. Now with your push-up, I recommend being on the knees. Take a look up so you're not letting the head drop. 
Now my diamond push-ups are not as strong, so you're gonna see me probably do four or five total. <laughs> Because I would rather you keep them crisp like I'm trying to do instead of sloppy and get more reps time. Okay, flip over, bicycle crunch or dead bug. Hands light behind the ears, go. Now if you're doing the bicycle crunch with me, here's a quick tip if you're feeling your low back. I want you to place your feet on the ground and just lift the leg up, okay? I don't want you to feel your low back. Now the hands are resting, the head is resting in the hands so there's no stress to the neck. Time, all right, three more rounds of that. Diamond push up or chest press with dumbbell. Look up if you're doing the push up with me, go. Holy moly. <laughs> Darn it, I got six in. I was overachieving on that round. <laughs> All right, bicycle crunches, feet on the ground or feet up or a dead bug, go. So for the bicycle crunches, you do not want to feel your low back or your neck. So make sure that head is resting in your hands. Extend that leg out so it's just a couple inches off your ground and twist through the waist, not so much through your shoulders. Time. Whew. Oh boy. Back to push up. <laughs> Ready? Nah, neither am I, but we're going anyways. Go. Oh. The timer is our trainer right now because I am with you. I hate push ups. <clears throat> but I try to do them as often as possible and trying to love them because we hate what. Well, What's hard, don't we? Time. Those are hard. Okay. Bicycles. If you're doing the dead bug, pull that belly button in towards the mat. You're keeping that low back anchored as you slowly lower one leg straight to the ground and the opposite arm leading with the thumb. Time. Okay, here we go, crew. This is it, last round. Diamond push ups. Go. <laughs> I just did one, and my triceps are like, no more PJ. Come on, you guys. I'm with you. I feel it, but we can do this. 20 seconds. That's all we need. It's all we need to tell the arms. 20 seconds. Time. Good job, you. Whether you got one or ten in, good job. Ready? Set, go. Time, oh my goodness me. <laughs> yes, all right. 29 minute workout, I wanted to keep it under 30 minutes, yay me. <sighs> you may think, what's the big deal? It's a good thing for me, usually I really go long. All right, here we go, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Bum up for me, work into the glutes and bit into the um, spinal extensors. If you're able to, interlace the hands under the bum, and now let's walk and pin the shoulders under to open up the chest. Now, stretching into the pecs and front shoulder is super important after a boxing workout because we're internally rotated for most of the workout. So we're gonna do a couple of chest openers on our stretch session. So I hope you can stick around. We probably got another five, six minute stretch. So whew, stick with me. And release. While we're down here, let's just get into the hamstrings and glutes a bit. Straighten that leg, hands can come behind. Press the knee away from you.
Now, whatever leg you're not stretching, I want you to straighten that one and then bend the one you are stretching so it's at 90 degrees for the knee and hip. Take the opposite hand and guide that leg across and then anchor yourself with the opposite arm. Palm is up and turn your gaze to see those fingertips. So now we're opening up this one side of the chest and front shoulder where we get spinal rotation into the um, glute, into the side of the hip. I am super sweaty right now. <laughs> I know you're probably thinking, thanks PJ. I just thought I would share. Beautiful, let's go back to center. This foot straight, or pardon me, on the ground. Other leg straight now. Let's get into that hamstring. Pressing that knee to the wall behind you. And then how's the back of your neck right now? If you have quite tight hamstrings, you could really have that chin pointed and the front of the throat open. That's not an ideal position for the neck. So what I'd love for you to do is lift the head up, tuck the chin in, and slowly lower. If you're still having a hard time, I want you to place a pillow underneath your head. When you're doing things where you're on your back, always think about the back of the neck longer than the front. It's a better position for the neck and for the spine. All right, whatever leg you are not stretching, let's straighten that. The leg we are stretching, 90 degree bend in the knee. Opposite hand's gonna pull that knee across while we anchor ourselves with the other arm. Lining it up with our shoulder, arm is straight, palm is facing up. Turn the gaze to the fingertips and hold. And let's go back to center. Rolling onto the stomachs. Extend your right arm, lined up with the shoulder, palm down, left hand on the ground, and then lift that left leg up and peel your left shoulder up while keeping that right shoulder down to get a stretch into that side oblique. Now we've got this back foot on the ground, if you're able to, it might not be able to, it might be hanging there in the air, but you're getting a wonderful stretch in the hip flexor as well. If you want more of a stretch in the hips, what you'll do is try to work that foot up towards the hand. And if you're thinking, yeah, right, PJ, don't worry about it, just go with where you're at. My main focus here is to get that right side pack and anterior delt. All right, so let's roll back. Left arm on the ground, roll up. Good. Now I'm pressing into the ground with my right hand here. That's what's actually anchoring me as I roll back, trying to roll onto this left arm and shoulder as it stays on the mat. And release. Take your elbows underneath your shoulders and just press up a bit, ears away from the shoulders. Extending through the spine, stretching the abs. I could literally do this all day. It feels so good on my low back. I sit a lot, <laughs> editing videos and, well not necessarily editing, but getting it ready, you know, just basically sitting for my job. Let's just leave it at that. So this is a really good way to beat all that spinal flexion when we're sitting, doing some spinal extension. And come on up to hip flexor stretch. Left knee under left hip, right ankle lined up. Now let's take that left arm behind the head and lean away. I could just imagine my video editor right now, you probably heard that. What do you mean you editing the videos, PJ? <laughs> Sorry, Allie, you are already editing all the videos. And I'd like to thank my Patreon community. So it's them, a big round of applause, that we are able to enjoy the modified window, the timer, the rollout with the exercise name because that is beyond my skills as a personal trainer and because of the support of everybody on Patreon to support the YouTube channel, we're able to afford to hire a video editor. Let's do the other side. So if you do the videos on a regular basis, 
It would be awesome to see you support the channel. Information's down below. Or maybe you want to try something a little different. I have a 14 day free trial for you for my app over 50 fitness. This is for both men and women. And there are nine of us teaching on the app, everything from cardio, hit strength, bar, Pilates, meditation, yoga, stretch, as well as health talks and fit tips. Again, 14 day free trial, check it out down there and release. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I look forward to working out with you for our next workout. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you're here on YouTube. And then for both YouTube and the app, drop a comment below. I'd love to know what you thought of the workout. Mwah.